describe what happened with Todd here and what, what, what you saw and then what happened after that? I mean, they missed a the call. It was pretty obvious. They even said it after the game. They watched it and reviewed it. It was an offensive foul. That's a big dude. And I feel like he uh, he was trying to put something behind that, trying to send a message. So that's why I was upset. You can't miss a call like that. Officiating got me that tech. Did they say they couldn't go back and put that far back? Yeah, I mean, they couldn't change it to a, a, a offensive foul, which would what it, it should have been. Um, so at that point, it, it was what it was. But I mean, that's what I felt, and that's what it was. You're usually not that upset on the floor. I mean, it just it seemed like was that just a frustrating night overall? I mean, eh. I mean, I feel like, in a sense, yeah. I think they they come out and they play amazing, Indiana, uh, of course. But you know, I guess uh, you can't let a, a play like that go. Um, and that's where my frustration was. Like, that's, you know, you can't miss that. That's how stuff gets escalated, et cetera. You can't let somebody get away with that. That's how the game get X, Y, and Z. So, you know, it is what it is. We lost tonight, Indiana. Um, they outplayed us from top to bottom, you know, but we bounced back. Got some home games coming up. Looking forward to it. Yeah, um, tough, you know, but that's the league. You know, the schedule was interesting, unique. Can't make an excuse with two early games and a back-to-back -back on the road. I don't think I've experienced that since I've been in the league. Still not an excuse, but um, Indiana was the more the the faster, more aggressive team tonight, and they won. They definitely are uh, different from the Indiana that we're accustomed to, you know, um, with, you know, Sabonis and those guys are, you know, a much more physical team that just tries to pound you and just dominates you in the paint, you know, and this, this team that we just played tonight was just running nonstop. So definitely a different look from the Pacers that we're accustomed to um, and, they, and they played their ass off tonight. Is that a team question or a me question? No, team question. Um, as yeah, as a team, like I thought they made a lot of tough baskets and tough shots, and we got to be ready. You can't be surprised, you know. Teams have been listening to you know um, what we've been doing over the last few weeks, and we got to be ready to take teams' best shot. And you know, Indiana came out, and I don't think we stopped anybody. You know, I think all of their guys, including Brissett, just was like red hot from the field just making everything like anytime they did get an open shot it was like it was no question whether it was going in or not um, and they played really well tonight so um, we didn't do them no favors you know but you know, I, I thought they played exceptionally well so um, yeah it was tough tonight because a lot of the times that some of those are misses and they were makes today so you know and then they're so fast you ain't got time to put your head down but you know We'll get it back. No reason to soak. No reason to, to complain. You know what I mean? Got some big games coming up. Like, let's look forward to those. Yeah, you guys do have a tough stretch. Atlanta, Memphis, um, and Brooklyn, and then go to Charlotte. All those teams are at home. What is you know, the mindset of the improvement? Um, mindset, you know, still keep, you know, hanging our hat on defense. Um, this is the NBA. You know, teams are going to make shots, you know, but we give ourselves a chance. <laughs> In any game, as if we did to, as today, we cut the lead to seven. Um, you know, twice we had it in the third and the fourth quarter because um, our defense gives us a chance. So, like, we can guard. I think we'll be all right. So, um, looking forward to you know being being really good on on the defensive side for this next stretch. Um. Yeah. Al brings. You know, Al comes to play, man. Al is like. He's different, he's unique. Like he guards um, really well for us. He's been really um, 
really important to our defense all season. So now having them out there, we had to, you know, make some adjustments. But we've always had the next man up uh, mentality. Whether somebody goes down, uh, we always, you know, pick each other up and step in where the load needs to be replaced. Uh, so tonight, I mean, it was a, a tough game, but we, we look forward to having Al back next game. Um, <clears throat> I don't think so. Um, my, my mindset has been the same, you know. Um, of course, you know, everybody's going to chime in what they think, and that's fine. Uh, that's out of our control. But, you know, for us as a group, you know, we try to keep the outside pressure outside and just come in and play basketball, just hoop, just execute, do your job well, and just stay the course. And that's brought us into good moments in the season, you know, even in the midst of adversity. So. I look to do nothing other than that, you know, now, you know, just just hoop, do what we do, breathe, play good basketball, and uh, and we'll be fine. Right Thank you, Jalen. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.